Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Timberborn. Yes indeed we are back. Um, we have reached the end of our, uh, uh, our, our, our reach, I suppose, um, from this district centre. So we can no longer continue building um, our dam structure over here, or our, our levee structure over here. Um, so I've put in a new district centre. Um, we are moving slowly forward in time. Uh, we have another drought coming up in uh, about two days. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I am going to want to uh, increase the water storage in this area, I think. Uh, we have two pumps producing. Um, and I'm not sure that's going to be enough, but at least it will keep going through the drought. Obviously up here we have a bit more of a problem. Um, because we don't have a whole lot of water available for this district. Uh, and we do have, what have we got? 66 um, beavers in this district. So that could be fun. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to start setting up this district over here. Uh, obviously it's going to be problematic because food is going to be an issue. Uh, wood is going to be an issue. Water is going to be an issue. Um, so I may wait until after the uh, the drought has finished before I... Um, before I actually send any beavers over to this uh, location. Uh, but I will get to work, and I will come back when I have something to show you. Well, our explosives factory is up and running. Uh, so we can start producing explosives. Unfortunately, using the means, we do have to unlock that. So, yeah. that That's going to take a while. We need 600 research um, to unlock the use of dynamite. Um, on the plus side, at least by the time that happens, we should have a fair supply of it. Uh, but the drought has started. We've got seven days uh, left. Um, we still have water for the moment up here. That won't last. Um, we have a fair amount still in storage, so that's okay. Um, Our paper mill isn't being built. Okay, where are all our gears? No. There they are. Right, okay. Uh, let's send our gears back over there. And hopefully that will help us build our uh, paper mill. Because then we're going to need to send paper across to this district because the explosives factory requires paper. So, we will set that up whilst we are here. Uh, the gears haven't got here yet, but hopefully soon. Uh, obviously we've got no power to our uh, shredder, but that doesn't matter because we don't really need metal blocks at the moment. Um, uh, I am putting in some more housing up here because we're, we're again running low. Same over here, um, although they can't actually get to that because I haven't put a path in. And I will build another double lodge just there. Okay, and again I will come back when there is something to, uh, to show you. We are about three quarters of the way through the drought. Um, obviously the water up here has gone. Uh, the water from this little loop here has gone. Uh, most of the water from down here has gone. Um, we do still have some water in storage, not a huge amount. Uh, I am shipping in water from this district. Um, 
this district isn't doing too hot for water at the moment. Uh, we really do need uh, another water pump over here somewhere, so I guess I might as well just do the same thing. Just add another one right next to it. Oh, didn't mean to pause it, I meant to fast forward. There we go. Um, we should have the planks for it, in theory, as long as we have the wood, but I'm not sure we do, because we're, we're running a little low on, uh, on wood again. Uh, this district down here is doing fine, pretty much. Um, I think we are full in terms of housing. Yeah, we have three children currently. Uh, we do have a lot of unemployed, so as soon as this this drought is over, we can start populating uh, this new district. Um, let's have a look. What are we going to do? I think coming down here and getting some food grown down here would probably be a good idea. So let's... Well, I'll set that up and I'll come back to you. You don't need to watch that. Okay, ladies and gents and everyone else, we have enough uh, in our science point. We have enough to purchase dynamite. So I think we're going to do that. Right. The first thing I want to do with the dynamite is... Hmm, let me have a look. I'd quite like to expand this to get more water stored in general, but I think that's going to be a bit tricky. So what I am going to do is just along here for the moment. Uh, and I'm probably going to need to put a path down here so I can reach everything. But I'm going to put some explosives in like that, because that will create little pockets of deep water that when the water from this area is drained out during the uh, uh, during the drought, those pockets will remain and, in theory, keep at least some of this ground fertile. That's the idea, anyway. We'll see if that helps. Um, over here, we are in the process of building up this little district here. Um, it's taking a while, obviously, because I am having to ship in everything. And I don't want to put too many beavers into this area um, until it's producing food and water of its own. Uh, so we've just basically got five beavers over here sleeping on the ground, um, being supplied food and water from other districts until all this is built. Uh, over here we have our third pump in place. Um, yeah, that's basically as far as we've got. Uh, it's been a bit of a slow crawl to get where we are, but... Okay, we have most of our explosives already planted. That's good. Um, it may be that we're actually out of explosives. Oh no, we've got a couple. They're probably... Yeah. They'll be here in the morning, and then we will go boom, I think. So yeah, as I say, that will just create little pockets that will hopefully keep this um, land here fertile during the drought. Uh, and I'm going to do the same along this edge as well. Uh, I might use the dynamite to take out some of this, um, this unused land over here, uh, just keep... Uh, enough of a rim to keep the water in there. I think it's probably the best idea. Okay, it's morning, so where are our builders? Come on. We want to blow stuff up. Where are you? Okay, I'm impatient. I'm going to blow stuff up anyway. Right. Let's put this on normal speed, I think. Mm, 
no, we want to be able to see it, don't we? I think, for the first two at least. Ready? Here we go! Yeah! Explosions! sure why these oh they're too far from the builders but you managed to get the other ones all right well yeah forget that don't worry about that so we've got a few pockets here of, of deep water so as i say hopefully that will keep things um for t oh you've just flooded have you why have you is that because we disrupted the water and you got confused yeah okay you'll sort that out that's fine uh, and what I want to do is, again, down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create um, as much deep water as I can. Um, obviously, over here, we're fine. How are things going on over here? They haven't really progressed, have they? What are we waiting for? We are waiting for logs. We're two more logs, and we should be fine. One more log, and we should be fine. And here it comes, so we'll speed that up. And there's no unemployed beavers in the district. Why not? I mean, there are. There's, there's... There we are. Yes, you, you, you've woken up now. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is get these built. But they're going to go and do that instead. Um, but we'll prioritize the water storage there. How are we doing for explosives? Yeah, not very well. Why not? What are you missing? You're missing power. Okay, we haven't got a lot of wind. Yeah. Yeah, this is the problem with wind generation. It doesn't always work, and it seems to not work more often than it does. Which is a bit of a pain. Hmm... Because of the fact that we've only got two. Yeah, it has eight paper in there. We, we've still only got two explosives available, which means that this hasn't produced anything for the last couple of days. Which means that wind power is next to useless. Well, lesson learned. Don't bother with wind power. That's going to be the takeaway from this episode. Do not bother with wind power. Of course, as soon as I say that, it starts producing something, but... Oh, not enough. 40 horsepower. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Great. Yeah, that was a waste of uh, resources, wasn't it, building those? Oh, well. Lesson learned, like I say. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I will continue uh, building up this area and see if I can actually get this this little bit functional, or vaguely functional. Uh, and then I'll come back to you. And we've just hit another drought, so we'll be able to see if our, our little uh, scheme here works. Uh, I haven't been able to do any more. I've, I've set up some explosives down here to create some more deep water um, when we can, but we're just not producing electron, uh, explosives at any rate that's worthwhile. I mean, this is... what have we got? 128 horsepower coming off of these now, which still isn't really enough. I mean, they should produce up to 120 each. Which means we should have up to 240 on this particular circuit. And we're getting 128. And that's the highest it's been for quite some time. Which is slightly depressing. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah. 
our district over here needs another worker. So we'll send one from here, I think. Uh, we only want one. And we need to go do district six. That will give us a, a, a lumberjack. We'll be able to um, start cutting down some of this wood. We'll be able to use this land for, for farming. That's the plan. Whether it will actually happen that way is another question. Wood is a bit of an issue at the moment. We don't have a great deal coming in. We've only got a few sort of farming area, uh, farming logging areas. Um, this one isn't cutting down anywhere near as quick as we would like, so it might be an idea to put another lumberjack in down here. Um, I mean, we have the storage, but they're not cutting them down very quickly. Not to worry, we're not sending them, are we? Are we sending logs anywhere? Yes, we are sending logs to District 6, which would explain why there aren't any over there, but we're not using them over there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the windmills have stopped producing power again. Um, Water-wise, we're, you know, we're doing all right up here at the moment, but we're only sort of one and a half days into the the drought. Right, yes, I will come back when a lot more work has been done. We have a slight problem, and that problem is that my beavers are idiots. They've cut off their escape route. So I'm having to try and build uh, a couple of platforms before they starve, basically. Um, yeah, there's not a lot else I can do about it, unfortunately. I suppose I could send a couple more um, unemployed beavers over, couldn't I? Let's send two more and see if that helps. Um, come on, how are you doing? Are you built yet? No, you need planks. And... Oh, we have them, but we just don't have anyone to bring them over, unfortunately. Oh, this, there, that's a bit more hopeful. Everyone can get off. You can get off. Go get food. Go get water. There is food and water, I think. Yes, there is. Uh, this doesn't appear to be producing for some reason. Is it because it's not actually in water? Yeah, that was a mistake. I screwed that up. Right. Let's try that again. Let's put ourselves... Hmm. Maximum depth 2. I did not know that. I did not know that. Well... Bum. Hmm. I mean, that'll be fine when the reservoir is complete, because the water will fill up to this level, but until then, that is a waste of time and effort. Right, let's put one in down here for the moment. And hope that that mistake doesn't cost me too much. Hmm. Oops. So, obviously my, my beavers are idiots. Um, because they allowed themselves to, to get trapped. Um, but clearly I am king idiot once again. For building that far too far away from the actual water to be of any use. But still, it's good forward planning. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. But, 
nobody appears to be dying yet. So that's that's a bonus. Okay. So it looks like we've still got four days left of the drought, and we're still okay for water. I mean, there, there is still water, at least. Um, oh, that's actually producing enough electricity for once. Excellent. Do we have any paper? We don't have any paper, because our paper mill isn't producing any paper. So the one time we actually have power, we don't have the paper to make explosives. Excellent stuff. I've really thought this out, haven't I? Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete those platforms so that they don't go and build on that bit and get themselves trapped again. You see? Now that's thinking ahead. Now, of course, they are just going to probably go over here and get trapped behind there, but... You know. You can only do what you can do. Okay, so we are clearing out the wood in this area. We are still okay for water. Our explosives... Oh, let's... Tell you what. I did say we were going to explode some stuff. So let's just explode this stuff here. Just because we can. There we go. Look at that. Bit of explosives. Nice. Hmm. Right, I think we'll get to the end of this particular drought, and we'll we'll call it an episode. Um, it's probably going to be a bit shorter than, than normal, because uh, it's getting difficult to actually develop this uh, district quickly enough to, uh, to to build all this up. But now that we have this mostly cleared, I think we can start bringing in some food for this area. So let's think about that. We'll prioritise this because that's going to eat up a lot of the, the logs that are coming in. Uh, and then we will plant, I think, just carrots. Just a whole load of carrots. Um, will we do it like that? No, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll bring them out there. That's fine. And then we will build... Where are we? A forester. Um, and we might as well tuck that in the back there. And we will put in some... Uh, some pine trees to... To harvest. Yeah, that seems like a plan. That will help this uh, district become a little bit more uh, self-sufficient, at least. Um, we want to prioritise the forester as well. Okay, so we'll let that run on, let that build up, and then... Uh, oh, here we go, look. So, yeah. It's only keeping a little bit of this fertile, but these little uh, these the, these little trenches here are actually keeping some of our crops alive, which is a good thing. Um, so we can carry on farming some of those. We can carry on bringing in wood um, during the drought. So I definitely want to do the same over here, uh, probably all the way along here, maybe even if I have enough explosives, or if I can get enough explosives up together, maybe even blow that entire section one level deeper. Um, and then I could put in another water pump, so we've got another deep water pump up here. Yeah, that sounds like a, a, a decent plan. So I will... Hmm. Yeah, let's come out there. And then we can detonate, basically. Let's actually, I'm going to food. 
basically all of this can be blown up. Um, probably going to need to leave space to get a path down there or maybe actually take out some of this farmland temporarily. Uh, we can also get a staircase down here uh, which will allow us to access this area more easily. Okay, that's going to take a while because it's going to take a long time to uh, get the explosives together. So we'll come back once the drought is done and uh, we've got something to blow up, hopefully. Well, two days to the next drought. This little district here, our little building district, is doing okay. It's doing okay. Um, we have food, we have water. Uh, we're getting logs in slowly, but we are also obviously using them very quickly. Um, to build up this dam and to uh, currently put in another farmhouse to speed up the food collection. Um, this district is chuntering along quite happily. Uh, I have put a couple of power wheels attached to this uh, explosives factory just because these aren't producing any power at all for the most part. Uh, so at least that runs it at, you know, like 65, 66% um, effectiveness. Uh, just waiting for the rest of the explosives to be put in down here. Um, and then we'll open all of this up for, for a bit more deep water, so that will hopefully help a little bit. Uh, and then what I'll probably do is take this out, uh, dynamite the area beneath it, and then put it back in. Um, so it too is uh, drawing from deep water. Um, and the district down here isn't doing too bad. I have put in another farmhouse down here uh, just to help with these fields because uh, I, I put these two farmhouses in a stupid place, basically. Um, I did put in another water pump down here in the deeper water. Uh, and this is going reasonably well. Oh, I also put in a, a rooftop terrace because I realised they didn't have any kind of leisure facilities down in this area. Um, yeah, uh, at least they've got a, a campfire up in this area. That's something. Uh, obviously they don't have anything over here yet, but that's fine. Um, they're a very small district at the moment. They don't need a great deal. Um, it is bringing in just about enough water for the moment. Um, I'm thinking about sort of rearranging the, the, the paths and the farmland here just to be able to squeeze in another water pump. Uh, I think that would be probably a good idea. Uh, in fact, I will do that now. Um, get rid of you. And get rid of you. And then what do I want to do? Mark resources for demolition. Destroy that and that. Um... Yes, then I want to replace the road as quickly as possible, so come on. There we go. And now I can put in another water pump just there. And we will prioritise that. And with that, I think we will call it an episode. So thanks very much for watching, uh, especially if you've got this far. Uh, sorry this episode has been a little bit, you know, bitty, but it's taking a lot longer than I was anticipating um, to get the logs in um, and get this section of the uh, the reservoir built. Um, I'll probably end up doing a little bit of play off camera um, to try and sort of speed that up. Um, so please do join us next time. Um, I will, as a closer, obviously, I will detonate uh, these explosives. 
uh, in normal speed, obviously. So please give us a like and a subscribe and you'll get a lot more of this. Lovely stuff. Who doesn't like a good explosion? Thanks very much for joining us. I've been John. This has been Timberborn. And this is Stormhaven Gaming. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye.